Hello guys, uh, today we are going to see the project demonstration of uh, design and implementation of smart street light automation and fall detection system. So the main concept of this project is automation of street light. So uh, we are going to use a LDR sensor which will detect the availability of sunlight. If sunlight is go beyond the threshold limit, the LDR give information to the microcontroller. The microcontroller will turn on the street light okay so this is the first thing and second thing if any street light get a uh, fault or if uh, street light is not working the LDR will automatically sense there is a darkness in the particular region so it will automatically report the fault in the particular street light so this uh, concept is implemented in this project so coming to the block diagram so this will be the block diagram so here you can see uh, uh, here we are going to integrate the entire uh, thing into the IoT. So we know very well what is IoT. IoT means Internet of Things, where all the controls to be taken to the uh, web server. So you can have a mobile app, mobile app or web app to monitor the street lights. So this is how the entire circuit has been designed. So here we use uh, two sensors. One is LDR sensor and the current sensor. So LDR is a uh, uh, light dependent resistor where you can able to calculate the availability of the light on the particular region okay and current sensor will uh, detect how much of power consuming to the particular pole so these two sensors was connected to the microcontroller and uh, the microcontroller integrated with the wi-fi here we are using uh, esp8266 module so all the informations will be collected and manipulated then the signal will be taken to the wi-fi and to control the uh, real time lights we are using a relay relay is the electronic switch where whenever the microcontroller gives the instructions to turn on and turn off the relay will do its job uh, accordingly the light will turn on and turn off the entire circuit will be uh, powered by a regulated power supply unit so this is how the block diagram and this is the power supply unit and this is a rec receiver side receiver side a cloud server is there from the server we are going to design a mobile or web app so that we can monitor the entire street lights so here are the hardware requirement and software requirements okay let us see the real time uh, demonstration of the project so guys as we uh, saw in the block diagram uh, this is how the circuit was uh, designed so this is the uh, esp module uh, here all the sensors was connected so lcd display ir sensor and ldr sensor so the LDR sensor will detect the light intensity. So the light intensity level will be measured and it will be taken to the microcontroller and it will be displayed in the LCD display. And IR sensor will uh, count number of vehicles. So if no vehicles is passing on that way, the street light will uh, reduce the light intensity. And a uh, relay was connected, a two channel relay is connected for street lights and a power supply circuit was designed. So here we use a step down transformer with the voltage regulation unit along with the uh, so for street light uh, we connected a uh, LED strip so some push buttons were connected for manual operations so if you want we can also do the manual operations so let us see the demonstration so you can see so first thing we need to uh, give the Wi-Fi connection to our uh, IoT module so that uh, the module will uh, send the live data to the cloud server. Now the Wi-Fi is connected. Now you can see the light 1 and light 2 condition. How much of power it's consuming. So and also you can see a IoT page. So the status of LED 1, LED 2. Power consuming everything will be displayed here and if you are giving a command to turn on and turn off it will turn on and turn off okay so first we can uh, select a mode whether it's a auto mode or manual mode if your auto mode is selected based upon the ld ldr value it will automatically turn on the lights so for example i'm closing the ldr i'm making a darkness uh, in the ldr so the light is turning on you can see the street light is turning on 
okay the complete status will be updated in the iot part so led one is turned on so if there is more traffic for example if the more people are walking in that way so the ir sensor will detect how, mu how much of people is crossing so that the second LED, L led will be turned on so based upon the traffic it will turn on the multiple led lights so this is how we can be able to save the power so if no one is uh, walking in the streets we don't need to turn on all the street lights so the complete status will be updated in the iot page with power consumption details so if any fault occurred it will be updated in the iot page for example to making a fault i'm just pushing that uh, push button on so that uh, some uh, fault may occur so here in the iot page you can see fault detected okay fault detected led one fault detected so like that uh, from the initial stages of the app we can also change that automatic mode into manual mode so if manual mode is selected from the app you can able to control directly let us see the demonstration okay now i'm selecting the manual mode so from the manual mode i'm directly turning on the light so if i turned on the led one it will automatically turn on if i want to turn off it will automatically turn off okay so this will be done in the manual mode so this is how the entire project has been designed uh, designed so uh, the main uh, idea of the project is uh, to automate the street lights and also to identify the faults in the street lights and another concept is based upon the traffic our system will adjust the light intensity okay so for example if there is a 10 different poles are there uh, for example in midnight no person will walk in the street so there is there is no need of uh, making the 10 different uh, lights in the particular street so on that condition the ir sensor will uh, check for the traffic if no traffic is detected it will automatically reduce the uh, 10 poles into into 5 poles so uh, 5 poles is more sufficient sufficient line for uh, regular time that is if no 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 human being or no vehicle is detected in the street it will turn off the 50 percent of the led so that it can uh, save the electricity and the iot system will have adv uh, added advantages of this project so that through iot you can able to easily monitor the complete street lights so from a computer uh, using a computer you can be able to monitor the complete street light and also you can be able to control the complete street lights so this is how this project was developed so if you require this project or if you want to make a project related to this concept you can contact us and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and get regular updates on latest technology thanks for watching